In this mini lecture, I'm going to talk about the principles of collection management. The principles of collection management are guided by the core values of librarianship. These underpin all policies and practices for the library, but are most evident in the way you develop and manage your collection. The principles of librarianship are often attributed to Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, who devised five laws of library science in 1931. These are, books are for use, every reader, their book, every book, its reader, save the time of the reader, and the library is a growing organism. Of course, today, instead of just dealing with books, we're working with a wide variety of media. However, these principles guide the librarian's ethics and provide a summary of the core values of librarianship. The five laws of library science have been reinterpreted many times, most notably by Michael Gorman, a librarian, library scholar and writer, as well as past president of the American Library Association and an editor of the AACR2. He suggested that a more timeless version of the laws should be Libraries serve humanity, respect all forms by which knowledge is communicated, use technology intelligently to enhance service, protect free access to knowledge, and honour the past and create the future. Another way to see the laws is by understanding them in the light of new conceptions. So books are for use might be translated as ebooks are for reading, Netflix is for watching, Blackboard is for studying. Every person his or her book might become every listener, her iTunes, every artist, his or her Photoshop, every student, his or her easy bid. Every book its reader becomes every blog its reader, every Google map its traveller, every digital repository its researcher. And the fifth, fourth law, save the time of the reader, becomes save the time of the listener, save the time of the traveller, save the time of the researcher. The fifth law remains the same. As you can see, although the media might change, the themes and values within these laws stay the same. The core values all librarians should be working towards include ethics, equity, equality, diversity and inclusion, as well as anti-censorship, intellectual freedom and the free flow of ideas and information. The library should be a place of welcome for multiple perspectives it should be non-judgmental and value human rights as a provider of information and education. These core values are outlined in many statements, including the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions Statement, which is otherwise known as IFLA, the Core Values Statement by ALIA, and are also drawn from the UN Declaration on Human Rights and Freedoms. Here we see such statements as School library services must be provided equally to all members of the school community, regardless of age, race, gender, religion, nationality, language, professional or social status. Specific services and materials must be provided for those unable to use mainstream library services and materials. The principle of the ALIA Core Values Policy Statement says that a thriving culture, economy, environment and democracy requires the free flow of information and ideas. Australia's library and information services are fundamental to the free flow of information and ideas and a legacy to each generation conveying the knowledge of the past and the promise of the future. Library and Information Services professionals commit themselves to the core values, including promoting the free flow of information and ideas through open access to recorded knowledge, information and creative works, the connection of people to ideas, commitment to literacy, inf literacy information literacy and learning, and respect for diversity and individuality of all people. These principles are informed by the UN Declaration of Human Rights and Freedoms, 
particularly Articles 19 and 26. Everyone has the freedom of opinion and expression, and everyone has the right to education. Also Article 27, everyone has the right to freely participate in the cultural life of the community. So what does all this mean for your role of librarian and for the collection development and management within a school, academic, public or special library? Firstly, you need to represent in your collection the diversity of your population. Every reader its book, their book, every book its reader. Everyone in your user group should see themselves included and reflected in the collection. This includes ethnicities, class, sexualities, genders and so forth. This can be a really interesting area, particularly if you're working in a school which is founded around a particular religious ethos. In these cases, you need to establish your policies, work with your principal and school community to ensure that policies are reflective of the school ethos, but also meet the needs of your library users and stay true to library values. The core values of librarianship referring to anti-censorship, intellectual freedom and the free flow of ideas and information are reflected in the way you develop your collection and make it accessible to all members of the community. The collection must reflect multiple perspectives and selection of resources that is non-judgmental. What this doesn't mean is that you include everything in your collection. The selection process involves applying criteria including authority, objectivity, and the skill, competence, and purpose of the author. Collection management involves determining whether the resource is accurate and unbiased in the treatment of a subject. Selection is not based upon whether the librarian personally agrees or disagrees with the arguments the author is making. Accessibility includes the provision of different formats, as well as technical supports to maximize accessibility for all users. Physical arrangement of the collection also influences accessibility, as does the availability of 24-7 digital access, which is something that not all school libraries are currently able to offer, although this number is growing rapidly. Finally, a library's collecting practice must align with the mission, vision, aims and institutional priorities of the organisation, and a systematic approach to collection management helps assure this alignment. Not all libraries collect the same things for the same reasons. Archival institutions, like the National Library for example, collect not only to provide access now, but to preserve and maintain access into the future. Whereas public and school libraries collect use for right now, rather than having a large archival element. Consequently, the practice of collecting varies across different types of institutions. What doesn't change though, is the idea that collecting needs to be informed by user needs and linked to the organisation's purpose. Regardless of the type of library, this alignment in light of library values is critical.